Hello, welcome back to this week's episode of I'm Jin The Mood. So it seems to be much like last week again, where I can't seem to stop recording without there being a problem. You know, last week it was the, the battery dying. This week it was the fact that I forgot to, you know, delete stuff off the card, so the card was full, so my camera just stopped recording again. So yeah, it's going great. I'm, I'm really good at this, apparently. I'm really running out of stuff to say for this chatty bit. Like, there's not really much to say about life at the moment. We're in lockdown. Continuing with the little Whitney Neal miniatures. <laughs> Again, I'm not sponsored by Whitney Neal. Um, we are reviewing the Blood Orange Gin, inspired by the vibrant flavours of Sicily. Extract <laughs> of Sicilian blood oranges injects a dynamic citrus burst, the clean gin base. I am quite a big fan of blood orange. I've had um, a blood orange liqueur before, and I've also had, I think it's the Malfi blood orange, but I've never had Whitley Neal and they do all taste a bit different. So I am quite excited to try this one. Well, some gins just don't go in strong enough with the flavor and some gins get like that perfect balance. So I'm really hoping that this is like a strong flavor blood orange because I really like blood orange gin. So this whole bottle is 2.2 units. It is also 43% volume and it's a little five centiliter bottle. I love miniatures. Obviously, you know, I wish it was a big bottle, but I just think the miniatures are adorable. Like, look at that. Adorable. All right, so we're gonna give it a little sniff. I feel like I need to start sniffing it in the actual gin glass because I don't really get much of the, like, whenever I, I sniff it in the gin glass, it's always so much stronger than it is when it's in the little bottle. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour it straight in. We are doing half a shot. So I am a little bit disappointed that it's not orange. Both the other blood orange gins I've had have both been orange. So I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact it's clear. But you know what? The main, the most important bit is the flavour. So I will... If it tastes good, I am happy to overlook this slight issue. <laughs> yeah, I need to start sniffing it in this, not the bottle, because oh my lord. You just get such a strong whiff of gin <laughs> when it's in the glass rather than when it's in the bottle. You can definitely smell the blood orange. It's quite citrusy, obviously, because it's orange. <laughs> I can't get the lid back on this little bottle of gin now. Well, apparently that lid isn't going back on anytime soon. <laughs> so remind me not to spill that gin. You can smell the orange and it is good. Oh my Lord, it is just, it's just so strong. I keep forgetting how strong it is when you sniff it in there. Oh my Lord. All right, so this week we are trying it with, dun dun dun, <laughs> Diet Lemonade by Sainsbury's yet again. One day we'll work out what the actual gin ratio is. Ooh. Still doesn't look very orangey. I know it's not gonna suddenly be orange, but you know, color changing gin exists these days. Oh, now you've added the lemonade, you can really smell the, the orange more. It's very, very fresh, very summery, very citrusy, believe it or not, it's an orange gin. It smells so good. It's the sort of smell you wanna smell after a long, hard day working in summer, and you know, you know, like come home, the sun's still up because, you know, we've got long evening or like long days, light evenings. But you know, the most important thing is the taste, so. I need a moment with this gin. I like that. See, I can't tell whether it's because I might have put too much lemonade in for the amount of gin I've used, but it's quite a subtle orange flavour. And you know what, that's actually quite nice. Because sometimes you just want that kick and that bold flavour. But sometimes you just want that little subtle, subtle flavour. You don't want anything too strong. It's just a really nice, light, refreshing gin. Like, it's just... It's the perfect gin. For, say, you know, you go down to the beach after work. It's like the golden hour because, you know, we've got the nice long evenings. And you just sat there, you can hear the sea, you've got some fish and chips, you've, you can hear seagull, and you're just sat there and just so content with life. And you just, 
You're just sipping this gin. It's just the perfect blood orange gin when you're not in the mood for anything too strong. Again, it might just be an error on my part because I might have put too much lemonade in and completely drowned out the flavour. If that is my fault, I'm sorry. But like, I, th I think this is the first gin I might actually end up accidentally finishing before I finish the recording. Now the question is, would I go out and buy a big bottle of this gin? Absolutely. So far, the two really new gins that I've tried, both been good. And because again, I've literally never tried Whitley Neal gin before. This is genuinely the first time I've had Whitley Neal. And so far, you know, they, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I will definitely be getting some Whitley Neal gins for my collection. I also like the bottles because even though it led me to believe that this gin was orange, I just think the bottle's really cute. And I've made like a little rainbow display on my gin shelf with all of the little miniatures I got. It's really cute. So I think that's all for this week's episode of I'm Gin The Mood. I do have an Instagram account now if you'd like to follow me and you know see what I get up to during the week. I haven't been too active on it in the last week um, just because I haven't had much to post but you know if I have a cocktail, a gin or anything or if I buy a new gin or you know if I just want to make a general announcement about my YouTube channel or anything then that is the place you want to be. And plus who doesn't want you know regular pictures of gin on their timeline? It's, it's brilliant, you know? Gin. I just love... I love how delicate the flavour of this gin is. It's... Oh, I've hardly got anything left. It's real bad. I will put the link to my Instagram account in the description. And I will see you all next week for... Yet another Whitley Neal Gin review. I am not sponsored by them.